Christmas came early this year for us. Tesla just released their big holiday software update. They usually do this every single year around the holidays and it came a little bit earlier than previous years. I'm gonna go over all the new features in this video, hands-on, give you a quick overview. And some of you are gonna be disappointed because one of the big features, uh, big new features is not available to a lot of you. Uh, and we're gonna go over why that is. So let's get right into the features of this update with the, with the first being Apple Podcasts. Yes, finally. For years, we've been having to use TuneIn and Spotify uh, recently, more recently for podcasts, but now Apple Podcasts, which is you know probably the biggest player in podcasts, uh, is now available on your Tesla touchscreen. All you gotta do is scan the QR code, link your Apple account, and there it is. Once you allow Tesla access to your Apple App Podcast account, it automatically shows all your podcasts that you're subscribed to, and you can play them directly from your Tesla touchscreen. This is nice to have if you are a big podcast junkie like I am. Unfortunately, I use Pocket Cast. I don't use Apple, Apple Podcasts very much, but I do use Apple Podcasts sometimes, and I might use it more now that it's built into the Tesla touchscreen. Although we're not going to get CarPlay ever in Teslas, this is a little bit of a nice uh, bonus to, to add Apple Podcasts support directly into Tesla touchscreen. Tesla also added a trip planner in the mobile app. So if you pull up the mobile app and go to location, you can actually navigate to wherever you're going and build your trip from right here. So let's say if we want to go to Nashville, Tennessee, and now it shows us the trip and we can add an, a stop as well. So if we edit the trip, we can add another stop to this trip and we'll say we want to go to Birmingham. So now we have a multi-stop trip directly from our app that we, what we customized and we hit done and we can send it directly to our car. So send a car, it shows you the estimated length of the trip, the mileage, the, the supercharger stops, and you can send it to car to your car. And next time you get into your car, it will automatically load this into the navigation and guide you along your trip and start your trip. So this is a very convenient way to plan a trip ahead of time directly from the mobile app. And you don't have to worry about using another app, like a better route planner, or, you know, waiting until the day of and doing it within the, the touchscreen. So it gives you a lot better customization as far as planning a trip, which is really nice. Another cool feature regarding the mobile app with this update is the ability to see more cameras around your vehicle with the live camera mode on your mobile app. As long as you have Sentry mode enabled, you can go into your app, go to the live camera mode, and now you can have access to more of the pillar cameras. You can see down here at the bottom, it's almost a little confusing. We have one, two, three, four, five, six cameras down there, actually seven cameras, including the interior camera to view. So we can look at two of the pillar cameras on either side of the car now along with the front and back and then the interior. So that's really nice. Uh, gives you just way more options and way more uh, feeling of security if you need to view all around your car whenever you're away from it. So that's awesome. The holidays are upon us. And when people ask me what I want, I usually say nothing because like a normal adult, I usually just get myself things throughout the year as I need them. And earlier this year, I got myself one of the best gifts, the gift of privacy by signing up for Delete Me, which is a top trusted personal data removal tool. Delete Me makes it quick, easy, and safe to remove your personal data online. We all know privacy is important to protect from identity theft and money scams, but none of us have the time to go out and scour the entire internet for all our personal information because that would take a painfully long time. And similar to Santa's elves, data brokers are working around the clock, but not to build toys. Instead, they are buying and selling your personal data but you have the right to stay private and protect your personal data. Luckily, Delete Me does all the hard parts for you by removing private information from hundreds of data brokers. It's a simple four-step process. After signing up, you submit your personal information for removal from search engines and data broker sites. Then the Delete Me experts find and remove your personal information. Then after seven days, you receive a detailed report and Delete Me continues to remove your personal information on a regular basis. Delete Me is the best privacy solution I've used, and I've been extremely happy with the results so far. Click the link below or visit joindeleteme.com slash Andy and use coupon code Andy to get 20% off all consumer plans and start protecting your privacy today. And one of the more fun, less useful features, depending on who you are, is in a, under the toy box section. So if you go to the toy box, so not only can you replace the horn sound with a custom sound, you can also now replace the lock sound. So when you walk away from your car and have that lock with all these different options here. So let's let's go to random and see what it does. So 
So there you go. If you want to have different lock sounds, now you can do that. There's also been a new light show that's been added. It's called The Arrival. There you go, that was the new Arrival light show. And fun fact, I've never done a light show until then in my car. So let's go into the next couple features which involve driving. So now when you are navigating in the Tesla on the route, you can see icons for stoplights, which is nice. There are icons for stop lights, stop signs, and also speed cameras. I never really come across speed cameras on my driving. That really won't affect me much, but it's nice to see these stoplights uh, just to know where stoplights are occurring. Also, when you tap on the trip planner, you have some uh, more options now. Uh, last year they added alternate routes, but now you can uh, view alternate routes as you're going on your trip. So if you've already started your trip on a certain route and you come across some construction, it's gonna allow you to tap on that and choose an alternate route later on in your drive, which is really nice. That'll hopefully save you some time and maybe get you there to your destination quicker by avoiding some construction or traffic or whatnot. So that's always good to know. And also we have a new blind spot indicator. So if I put on my turn signal, it's gonna give me a blinking red light on my screen. It's telling me that there's a car in my blind spot. Now, I don't want to take credit for this, but I've been asking for this feature for years. I have video proof years ago when I uh, basically was saying I wanted some type of flashing light whenever I had my turn signal on. If that camera feed is very useful, but having that blinking red light, it almost gives us the feature of the blind spot alert indicator lights on our side view mirrors that Teslas don't, don't have. And I know a lot of people have complained in the past about Tesla side view mirrors not having that blind spot indicator light. Well, now this is almost a, a suitable replacement for not having that feature. So kudos to you. Thank you, Tesla. Thank you for adding this. This is actually really helpful. I really like that feature. That may be my favorite feature of the entire software update for the holiday software update 2023. Now, there is another feature that I don't have on my car and you may not have. If you have an older car with ultrasonic sensors, the little sensor sensors built around the car, then you're not going to see this feature just yet. This is the high fidelity park assist feature that only cars without ultrasonic sensors, which are cars that have been made recently, those cars should be able to get this feature right off the bat with this software update. It's definitely not a bird's eye view camera feed that we would like to see, but more it just gives you the ability to kind of look around your surroundings and see if there's anything around you. It, it doesn't look super useful right now, but maybe they'll uh, update it and improve it uh, in time. Uh, and hopefully eventually they'll just give us that 360 degree bird's eye view. Even though Elon doesn't really like it or he talks down about it, I think they'll eventually give it to us, hopefully. I don't have access to that. You may not have it either, but if you don't have ultrasonic sensors on the newer cars, you should have that and see that in your uh, the new holiday software update. Another feature that's been added is the automatic 911 calls, which will automatically dial 911 if it detects there's been a collision and the airbags deploy, which Tesla is always, always trying to improve on their safety. And last but not least, uh, which is low on the priority poll for me, is the gaming. They've added a, a new game, I believe. And then they also added some uh, additional features for the cars with rear screen. So if you have a Model S or Model X or even a new Cybertruck, uh, if you have that rear screen, they've added some additional features for that. I think you can play some more games back there from the rear screen and then also Bluetooth support for that rear screen. But hey, that is the Tesla holiday software update for 2023, showing you hands-on what it looks like here in my 2022 Tesla Model Y. Other than not getting that high fidelity park assist, which I don't think it'd be, I'd rather have ultrasonic sensors to be honest. Um, this was a, a great update. I love those blind spot indicator fights. Overall, I'll give this software update a thumbs up, not a two thumbs up, just a thumbs up. Thank you Tesla for always constantly uh, trying to approve and give us additional features, especially around the holidays. Hope you all have a happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. I hope you have a good holiday season and I will see you soon.